Hey guys, um, my name is Dave, and I, I, I've i had a lot on my mind as of late, and I know last video I did, I basically said the same thing, but this is, what's going through my head right now is not the same as the last time. I'm not going to go too much into detail, but the reason I, I'll, I'll do that in another video. It's probably the one you guys are going to see tomorrow, aside from the visual novel, because I do want to at least do that. I'll admit that. I do at least want to do the visual novel tomorrow. Anyway, and then I'll do Marvel's Avengers. I don't know. I'll do one of the two, and then the other one will be the follow-up to this video, kind of the other side of the coin, but anyway... What I'm going to talk about in this video is just, it's, I don't want to be that kind of person that people see a lot on this platform where they're kind of just hiding behind a mask. They fake something and only that something um, on this platform and they're a completely different person IRL. I would rather present myself as I am with the real me through these kind of videos, these live ones, that they don't happen as frequently as the gaming ones, I get that, but the gaming ones truly do bring out the humor in me, if it's not like a, you know, a first-hand experience, and sometimes they still do, I don't know, but anyway, um, I felt at least, at least for today, that a live video would be necessary, especially for everything that's gone, that's been going on with me recently, and... I have a lot of friends, oh, I wish I could say that. I have family members who are subscribed to this channel along with friends who I can commune with, which it really lifts my spirits to an extent, but there's one aspect that they can, no matter how hard they try, they cannot help me with. And this has had a big impact on a lot of stuff going through my head right now. And that's the fact that we all make mistakes, right? But with me specifically, when I make a very certain mistakes, I have such a difficult time forgiving myself for that. I can forgive other people just fine. In fact... I can do it in a heartbeat. Even for like some of the worst actions, I can sometimes, sometimes, emphasis on sometimes, forgive in a heartbeat. But then there's me, where I can make a mistake, other people can forgive me, but then I'm stuck at that point where I just can't. And it has taken a toll on me. Let's just say <laughs> it's probably one of the reasons why I have and I'm not I'm not exaggerating in any over or under it. This is just as it is. I do not have many IRL friends. In fact the only ones I've met up with Aside from a couple work friends who I just kind of get along with anyway, just I'm not including that in this circumstance just because it's different than what I'm referring to. I only have two IRL friends who I've met up with, who I've hung out with, on enough occasions where I can call them. I can confirm that they are definitely that. And those two people are my current girlfriend, Silver. I'm not going to give a off of her request, I'm not going to give a direct name until it has said otherwise. And the other one is D9 on this platform. Or Danny Wilson. D9 Beats. Call him what you will. But he... I met him about a year ago now. I, well, no. Yeah? yeah? A little less than a year ago. And Silver, I've... <laughs> I've known for about nine years, and that 
these two fantastic people have looked out for me to an extent that surprises me. It amazes me. And I am grateful for them to that. But and they, I, I have made mistakes on fronts, and they have gone, look, it's going to be okay, it's fine, don't worry so much about it. You know, like, just friendly manners. Like, my girlfriend has, I have made mistakes, like, that go against her, and she has completely forgiven me for it, and then there's me. Let's just put it this way. I have marks on my head. You see that? You see that right there? That was almost gone at a point. It's technically a scar that's meant to stay, but it wasn't as, like, it was not visible on camera for a while. Let's just say I'm not good to myself when I, and I'm willing to admit this, I am not good to myself when I make drastic mistakes. This was a while ago. It's actually better than it was. It was worse. And I actually, after I did this, I made a promise that I wouldn't physically hurt myself. But, and I, I used to, I'm not afraid to admit that I used to do that way more often than not. But, recently, that I still mentally and verbally do it a lot. And it's a wonder I've been able to sustain that promise I made to Silver. But one thing about me is I never break my promises. And when I do, I there was like twice, maybe twice, one time for sure, where I did and I regretted it like that. But I don't know. I... I guess my point in this video that I'm just trying to make is that just kind of give you guys some kind of information on the kind of person I am. I guess, let's put it this way. I'm passive-aggressive. Passive towards others, aggressive towards myself. I know technically that's not what passive-aggressive is, but that's how I interpret it for my own purposes. And it suits quite well. It's... Honestly, the first person I told that to was Silver. And she did not like that. I don't blame her, but it's who I've been for the past six years now. A certain type of relationship changed me into that kind of being, but into a mindset that put me eventually into that spot. But, I don't know. Recently, this is why I brought up everything that I did. Recently, there's one mistake that I made. It almost cost me the relationship with my girlfriend. I started becoming blind to certain aspects of the relationship and started out of desperation reaching out to others who I do still consider friends at this point and I want to consider close friends at least at least for all, most of them if not all of them Not to the extent that my girlfriend and I are at. At least, especially not right now. I would ruin everything if I did that, and that's not who I am. I'm not the kind, like, I've been, people have pinned me in the past as a player. You know, the kind of person who would, like, get all the girls like that, and like, that's not who I am. At least that's not who I want to be. But recently, I feel like if I keep going down the trend that I'm going down, I will be that person, and that's, that's not what I want. I have lost 
the path that I want to go down for my life. And it has made me figure, see like these flaws that, and I'm not going to go into detail about these. Those who are involved in it already know what these flaws are. That's as far as I'm going to say. And if you do know, if you're watching this, please don't put it in the comments below. I'd rather this be a personal thing and kept, you know, between those who are involved in me. And... It, I've made these flaws, and it has hurt people. Miraculously, it's hurt two people. Not gonna name who, and in regards to that, I I don't like hurting people, and this when I see that I have, I'm kind of like a mirror on that front. When they get hurt, so do I, but I emphasize it on myself even more. Then I, what happens to them? I, when I see that I've hurt someone, I feel I've failed because the way my heart works is I try to care and love everyone unless they do something drastic that I do not like that would cause me to go, you know what, you don't deserve it. And there's, quite honestly, there's only been like one person. On this entire planet, in the past, because they're not alive anymore, who has ever done that? And I'm not going to go into detail about that, because that, it's not necessary at this point, I don't think. But since the person I'm referring, the people I'm referring to are not this one particular person, I've seen these people hurt, and it has made me feel like I've failed. And because of that, I cannot forgive myself. And I just, I, I'm in a block. I don't know what to do. I, if I were to talk to my past self, then that, that, that past self will just go, oh, just keep pushing forward. Everything will be fine. Be positive. All I can. But that's not reality. Not anymore. That was my reality in high school. I was always like this upbeat, positive person. Hey, everything will be fine. Oh, I'm not doing so well in school. Oh, that's fine. We'll we'll get there. Because somehow I did. I'm still flabbergasted at the fact that I did. But the end point is just that that would not work. Now, for me, I am no longer in high school. I am not taking college classes right now, so that idea still would not work. It would work for classes just fine, I'm sure, because I've used that for classes, that mindset for classes before. Got through with flying colors. You know, with a lot of help from um, outward sources. But even so, I still made it through with that positive attitude. But when it comes to stuff like this, to a job, when it comes topics like a job or a relationship or just taking care of yourself, that doesn't work. It just doesn't. And that puts me in a bind, a bind I don't want to be in. I want to care for people to an extent that, quite frankly, if they were to look at me caring for them like this, they'd be like, something doesn't feel right. But at the same time, they'd be like, but I'm very appreciative. That kind of thought. And I've tried that, but with the false pain that now that I look back on it, it doesn't make sense, which I'll, it's not something I'm going to get into a discussion about. But... I was going through some false pain at a point in time, let's just put it that way, and I can. my mindset was convincing me that it was real pain, that it was like 
something that I was going through that I shouldn't be going through, but there was nothing going on in reality. And I'm willing to admit that. I'm the kind of person who's willing to admit my faults when I know there is a fault. Now, some people can argue this. I know that. Like, there are certain circumstances where this isn't the case, and I'm sure there are some people who can argue that. Well, actually, no, I know there are people who can argue that. But that's not my point. For most things, let's put it that way. That way it's a bit more accurate. For most scenarios, I am willing to admit my faults. Like this. But when I do, like this... I will, I, I, the reason I'm making this video is to prevent myself from doing this, but generally I do beat on myself for it, and at least for the past six years, that's how I've been. Maybe five, I don't know, but I, I, I felt like that needed to be said, at least for my end. I've been rambling on for 16 minutes. Um, for those who see this video who know what I'm referring to and know what I'm talking about, I can't, I, I, I can't continue to hurting people. I just, no, for those who don't know me very well who are involved in this, there are four people involved, I believe. Maybe I'm miscalculating. Um, and for each for a different reason. Um, but I do not mean to hurt anybody. I don't. And that, that particular statement actually goes to two of them. Again, for different reasons, but still. And then the third one... Again, I'm not going to list the names on these just for confidential reasons that I think would be best for them. You have been there for me for so long. You've made me smile when it was necessary. And I haven't been very open as of late. But hopefully this video can kind of explain why and what kind of was going through my head at the time. For the last and probably most effective too, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I haven't been the person I should be. And this one can actually apply to all four of them too. But I'm not the me I want to be. I haven't been recently. I do want to be this positive person that I was talking about who's, you know, the high school me. The one who was very upbeat, positive me. The one who's just like, let's go, we can do this. Like, and be like this idiotic goofball that you guys see in all these gaming videos. I want to be that me. That's why I have this channel. To emphasize on the person I want to be. Yes, the gaming... That's not what it's for. It's The gaming just emphasizes on that particular person. The positive, the idiotic, in a good way, uh, the goofball, that, that kind of me. There is that me in me, but with everything that's gone on, everything that goes on, it's just hard to take a firm grasp of that me. And I feel really, really, really bad for the four people who had ex had to experience that side of me, that's not the real me. I'm sorry. I've been contemplating. I got off social media, pretty much like every social media, aside from Facebook and YouTube, specifically Facebook Messenger. I don't really go onto Facebook, Facebook very often, but Facebook Messenger, and YouTube, and. By the time you guys see this video, maybe I'm back on these other social media sites. I don't know. The only other one I really frequently would use would be Discord, but I don't know. Anyway, I... There's a lot for me to talk about, but I think I'm going to end this particular video of talking about this kind of thing here. If you guys... 
did appreciate or like or could relate to the kind of things that I was saying, um, please like the video and comment below if you wish on things that you'd like me to talk about, something that I could probably relate to. This is kind of just part of the person I am now, I guess. But if you want to check out the other topics that I've discussed, uh, I'll have a link somewhere on this side. Um, it should be like above my finger or something. Um, I don't know, with the new YouTube thing, I just realized, I don't know why I didn't consider this before, but with the new one, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, this side will be, like, the discussions and rants playlists that I have. This side will be just a random gaming video or series that I personally like. Somewhere right here, plus right here, will be the channel link if you guys do want to check out the channel itself. Um, and do consider subscribing if you want to see, like, philosophical stuff. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Anyway... I'm going to head out, but I'll see you guys later. Thanks again for watching. Bye.